This short video aims to show how it's possible to have fun with amateur radio operation while cycling. Using just a simple setup you can get surprisingly good results. Here I want to ride from Cheltenham to Painswick Beacon, then backfire Churchtown while joining in the 2 meter Cheltenham Amateur Radio Association net at the same time. My signal is audible to stations in both Cheltenham and Gloucester simultaneously on much of the ride. You can see how it is being received back in Cheltenham on this wind radio. This is Golf 4 India Golf November, G4 AGN listing 400. Golf Romeo 4 Sierra Golf India Mobile. You're a glutton for punishing, young Simon. Uh, good, good morning to you. It's not a bad morning for out on the bicycle. Anyway, nice to hear you. Have a quick over, then we'll listen for anybody else. Is it GR4 SGI? Okay, just left a bit of a gap there in case. Uh, G4RGN, GR4 SGI mobile. Well, it's much better than yesterday, actually, Doug. Why, uh, you think it's punishment down here? It's quite nice, actually. Um, just had a quick look at the weather station. It's about 11 degrees, saying 10.7. And around 1,012 minibars. Uh, so I think it's probably about uh, constant pressure from yesterday. But I'll, anyway, I'll pass it back to you with a bit of a pause. G4 IGN, GR4 SGI Mobile. X double M. G0 NXA. Yes, good morning, Thomas. Good morning, Giles. You'd like to go next, Thomas? Good morning, Michael. Stand by. Shall I put it to Michael next because he's, uh, yeah, some of us can't hear him really. Yep, that's a fine idea. I don't like to mount delicate radio equipment on the bicycle itself as it needs protection from the weather and also from vibration. Here I'm putting on a chest harness for the radio and running the RF cable over my back and through my belt. If I want to run APRS as well as voice radio, I use a chest harness with three pockets. The headset is fitted inside this full face mountain biking helmet. I like to use Oshen or Wuxun radios. These are compatible with Kenwood 2 pin speaker mics and headsets. Lastly, I put on a high vis jacket and run the PTT line down one arm. I use a modified luggage rack with an aluminium base plate fitted so that the antenna can be mounted securely on the back of the bike. There's only one connection between me and the bike using the short BNC lead. Normally the bayonet is not engaged so if I need to get off the bike quickly I can do so safely. This is a 4 meter quarter wave whip on an SO239 fitting. This is an APRS track recorded during a trip into the countryside north of Cheltenham. Using APRS you can let people see where you are automatically and also tell them what frequency or repeater you are operating on. This ride is about 45 miles long. From Winchcombe, which is about 8 miles north of Cheltenham, I'm going up Sudley Hill, which is very steep. By the time I'm at the top, I'm in the middle of the countryside. At Taddington, I pass Pauline's Veg Stall and on to Snows Hill. Just outside the village is Snows Hill Lavender Farm. Here you can see the farm in late July and the lavender is in full bloom almost ready for harvesting. On I go to Chipping Camden which is almost at the northernmost point on this ride. Over the years I have discovered a variety of different cycling routes, all of which are good for radio.
Just outside the town I passed the Churchill B&B. At Aston Subedge, I'm finally at the northernmost point of the ride. It seems a long way from home when I see the GPS tells me this is India Oscar 92 Charlie Bravo Square when I cycle all the way from India Oscar 81 Whiskey Victor. The choice of bike is important as it needs to carry the extra weight of equipment and provide a reliable platform for the antenna. The bike needs to be stable, safe and comfortable to ride. Safety when cycling is essential, so it's vital not to compromise the bike mechanically or do anything that could cause an accident when on the road. Don't be tempted to drill or cut the frame. It's particularly important to concentrate on the road at roundabouts or road junctions, so I generally drop carrier in these circumstances. I like to use a chest harness to hold the radio because this avoids mounting it on the bike where it could be damaged by vibration. Vibration is a major issue for the antenna too, so I superglue the grub screws in place on multi-section whips so that they don't shake apart. It is not necessary to use external batteries or power supplies, in fact this could cause problems with connector reliability. I just use the internal battery in the radio itself. This easily lasts for 4-5 to five hours, which is about as long a ride as I want to make. I normally operate on 2 meters or 70 centimeters, but I've also been able to operate on other bands successfully. 4 meters is very popular in the Cheltenham area, so I use that a lot, but I've also operated Bicycle Mobile on D-Star through GB7GL and on HF.